Welcome to the WOW Prize! Today we have a video not about the product, today we have a video about photography. I'm not the professional photographer, like, but I know something about photography, like, I have some experience, like, so I know something about it, like, so that's why, uh, from my experience, I decided to do this video, like, to tell the people to not making those mistakes, like, I, I, I was doing, it, like, photography before, before I opened the shop, and now I have experience in the shop because the people comes, I see the beginners, I see the professionals, I see amateurs, and I've heard some different stories, which is I can tell you like about the photography. First mistake which is made it uh, by beginners and amateurs that they think like oh they have enough time uh, for the photo. Actually, they're not even thinking about that. They just see some pictures which is nice made it like by somebody like and they decided like I wanna do also I wanna make it like so I'm gonna buy the camera and then I'm gonna start to do the same as he doing like I will be have it so much nice pictures like because it's look like when I'm watching somebody like maybe you've seen somebody who is taking the pictures like somewhere by the river or somewhere like and you see it and you are like oh it's so easy like jing jing done yeah look like sometimes it's easy like an automatic shooting and not setting up the camera but if you want to have that kind of nice pictures you have to know something that's why you need to spend the time for the photography first of all learn the camera second thing learn the software because most of the photographers after the end, like they're using more soft for create that kind of nice picture, looking nice picture, like so. Then you have to learn that, like you have to spend the more uh, more time, like on the photography. But you have a family, and you don't have time for the photography, and then you just quit. You are like, okay. I do some I I take some pictures of my family so when you're traveling yeah it's not bad nice idea yeah when you're traveling you can take it a picture like but you're not gonna be professional if you not learn something so you have to learn everything what the another photographers know to do the pictures looking as the same as they do do you have a time no problem do it second most mistakes which is making like the photographers I mean the beginners and amateurs is to buy expensive gears cameras and everything because they believe that if you buy some branded stove I mean especially like photography equipment I'm not talking about the cameras because like normally you barely can buy like few unbranded cameras like but honestly they're bad so you still have to buy the brand cameras but again there's a different type of branded cameras there's a different manufacturers of branded cameras some of them is expensive some of them is cheap second thing even if you find like all brands which is has a full frame camera full frame camera and they are the same price first of all ask yourself do you want to pay like three four thousand like for the camera you say you're gonna say yes I, I I want it I understand of course you want it like we all wanted something more expensive more better like and so and so like you name it you go on. but the trick is did you did you ask yourself do you have a time for the photography before you were buying the camera do you have enough money to buy that kind of, uh, kind of camera that expensive camera do you need that kind of expensive camera I mean yes 
if you have somewhere in saving like 100,000 or whatever like and you can afford it to buy 5,000 camera there's no problem but if you have uh, 100 euro on your account and you want to buy the expensive camera so you have to get the loan 5,000 euro loan do you need that because there's another option you can buy full frame camera but use it one three years old four years old five years old and I can tell you from my experience they are taken also good pictures and then if you know software you can correct it everything and you can make it everything looking as those professionals have it I just acknowledge how to use the camera and acknowledge how to use the software and my opinion because I know some of the guys it's like who've spent it like four or five thousand euro and more on the cameras and then they find out the first thing they don't have a time for it or they can uh, do something they're not good with the software they're not good with the camera like because it's too complicated like they say and then they just threw it the camera under the bed and they forget about it like they don't want to do that but the loan is still going like you have to pay yeah you can say it we can sell the camera of course you can sell the camera but you pay the interest and then the camera is not new even you took one picture with the camera it's already used anybody buys the uh, camera they're looking on the shutter counts so if there's one taken even your camera is in the box and looking completely new he's gonna check the uh, shadows uh, how many pictures was uh, taken um, by this ca by this camera and he's gonna find out that you've used it so it's not a new camera so uh, approximately like 25 percent is down on the camera so you're losing in click on the camera you're losing interest don't buy the expensive camera until you start making the money with this camera so you're making the money you know that the guys who is looking for your work they're expecting you to have a high professional images you buy the expensive camera because you have to give them a best quality because they're requesting from you the best quality if not if you're just buying the camera for your family, for your trips, then as I said, if you don't have a money, like, don't get the loan. Just buy, okay, use it full frame camera. Or you can buy a new camera, which has a crop sensor, but it's again, it's taking nice pictures. As I said, it's your knowledge on the camera. If you know the camera well, you can take nice pictures even with the crop sensor uh, camera or second one so that's my opinion you think about it like I just give you idea like and I know that it happens like to some of the people like that they're losing the money like because they were not thinking like they, they're coming in here and they're telling me the story because they want to sell that camera like you know so that's my second opinion on for the beginners on amateurs about the photography. The third opinion is about that I'm gonna be a best uh, photographer in Cork or where you live. You can't be. But it's a road which is take you a little bit of time to be a best photographer. If you already know how to use the camera and uh, everything and you have a customers so this video you're not watching it like you can just do the next video but like if you don't have a customers you just started you beginning or, or amateur and you want to be a professional don't forget it takes a time to be a professional again it's also not about to know the camera it's not about uh, to do the software it's about your customers professional photographer have a customers and he has a name so that's why he can say I'm a professional photographer 
because he publishing somewhere in the newspaper or in some magazines or whatever like or he is doing weddings and he have the full list for one year on he has a customers so he started like to be a professional or he is already professional you have to build up your customers you have to learn the camera you have to learn the software you have to step by step going up and it takes a little bit of time so don't respect that you're gonna get the camera big professional camera looking so nice like aren't you already professional like and you can do whatever you want it yes you're gonna do the mistakes like if you don't know the camera you're shooting on the automatic setting and you started offer your service to somebody somebody like gonna say that you do bad pictures because they're looking there there you give them they pay you money like but after a while they can show somebody like or upload it to the facebook on somebody gonna tell them the all mistakes which you've made it and then they're gonna start telling everybody that you are a bad photographer and you're losing the clients nobody wants to take your service you're losing everything and then you're in trouble but if you're gonna spend a little bit of time to know how to use the camera software yeah maybe it's not gonna be uh, money making but you're gonna be a good in it and then you can offer the service to your camera uh, customer then they're gonna see it that you do good job and they're gonna tell friends that you are good and the friends of them will be coming to you advertisement is fine like but most of it like mouth works so most of your clients will be from one to another like so they're gonna tell and after the years more and more people will be knowing you it's the same like here in the shop i have every day more and more customers because more and more customers knows about me like by Facebook, by Instagram, anywhere I advertise myself, uh, they come and click and they've seen what they needed on their buy and click. And they're always surprised and click that they didn't know like, that there's a camera shop in here. I always say, now you know. So don't do that mistake. I believe that's the most important things is in photography so time for the, for the photography doesn't matter what you're doing like you have to have a time like if you decided to be a professional photographer you need the time if you decided to be a landscaping photographer like uh, you need the time that's more time on anything else like because you have to find the spot you have to find the proper position you have to find the sunset sunrise like the uh, day like so i'm always saying like photography it's like a hunting like on fishing and one time so you're walking around you hunt on the proper place like and then you settle down like you settle up your camera you settle up everything like and then you're waiting until the sunrise or whatever is happening like and proper time or somebody passed like something like and then you're taking a shot like and deal is done like so it's in the same time fishing and hunting like you know yeah, and the third thing like don't waste your money like I mean even on even on uh, lighting like you know if you're not doing it for, uh, pro, uh, professionally like and you don't need so expensive uh, lighting up like find something like not expensive once i took the picture with the torch like small light like as you can see like it's uh, making circle as you can see like and i put the old camera in here and i lighten up around was uh, light but outside was the less uh, light 
and I made it look in black and white and the picture was looking that it's old I mean from old days like was talking the picture like. so you can use anything you like it like in photography like different lights home lights or whatever you have like you know just to make it light enough use the imagination like there's a mirrors which is reflecting the lights we can which is making a different uh, uh, creation of lights like so don't waste your money like on something which is not already making you money if you're making the money from it you can buy anything you like it because you need to be on the top as a professional or you're already uh, or you're gonna be a professional in the future like you know it's it depends which road you're gonna take it if you take it a professional one yeah buy it or even like if you decided like that you need the photography for your family and you do the shots you can buy some lights uh for yourself like i mean some led panel with the stand which the interesting part is you can use for your photography and also you can put it somewhere beside the bed or something and do like a light inside of your house that's all guys like i already wasted some time for, for you i'm hoping that it's worth it and you're not gonna uh, leave a comment for myself like that you waste your time like 30 minutes from your life or whatever it's happened like I believe it's less than 30 minutes ah it's 18 minutes we spend it little bit like and I, I, I hope like that that this lesson is uh, worth it for you like and all good and you found it like some interesting information for yourself like how to be a photographer and is that your thing like or you can just quit now thanks for watching i'll see you next time all the best from wow price good luck